Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will implement a 4-bit asynchronous up counter using JK Flip Flop in Tinkercad. So, let's begin. Before that, subscribe to my YouTube channel if not already subscribed. Press the bell icon to receive the latest updates so that you don't miss any of my videos. Like and share my videos, thank you. Counters remember the digital combinations of data and are used everywhere and every time in our day-to-day -day life. The best example of a counter is the digital clock alarm that wakes you up in the early morning. There are two types of counters, synchronous counters and asynchronous counters. Asynchronous counters, also called as ripple counter, are easy to design and require less number of logic gates. Asynchronous counters, as the name applies, uses non-synchronous clock signals for the flip-flops to operate. Meaning, each flip-flop has separate clock signal. The number of flip-flops used in a ripple counter depends up on the number of states of counter. The number of output states of counter is called modulus or mod of the counter. The maximum number of states that a counter can have is 2 raised to n, where n represents the number of flip-flops used in counter. Thus, if you have two flip-flops, the maximum number of outputs of the counter is 4 and it is called as mod 4 counter or modulus 4 counter. Here, we are going to design a 4-bit asynchronous up counter using JK flip-flop. Hence, we will require 4 JK flip-flops. The circuit diagram of 4-bit asynchronous up counter using JK flip-flop is shown below. Since this is an asynchronous up counter, the clock signals for each flip-flop is separate. The first flip-flop gets its clock signal from external clock pulse generator. For the rest flip-flops, the clock signal is applied from non-inverted output Q, of the previous flip-flop. The output of above 4-bit asynchronous up counter using JK flip-flop will result in following waveforms. Let's implement the circuit by creating a new project on Tinkercad. Components required are, 4 resistors of 220 ohms each, 4 LEDs for indication, breadboard, power supply, function generator for generating clock signal, and 2 dual JK flip-flop ICs 74HC73. Let us connect the power supply to power lines on the breadboard. Connect the VCC pin and ground pin of the IC to the respective power lines on the breadboard. Connect the reset 1 and reset 2 pins of the IC7473 to VCC. Next, connect all the J and K inputs of the IC7473 to VCC.
Let us now use LED for indicating the output states of the up counter. Connect LEDs to the output pins of the IC7473. Be careful, use the output pins and not the inverted output pins of the JK flip-flops for indication in up counter. Let us use a function generator to generate the clock signal. The digital trainer kits in your labs have an inbuilt clock pulse generator which is designed using a timer IC555. In another updated video, we will implement a complete up counter using an internal clock pulse generator. Let's connect the clock signals of the flip-flops. The output Q0 is connected to output 2 of the second IC7473. Hence, the external clock pulse generated from the function generator is connected to clock 2 of the second IC7473. The second output Q1 is connected to output 1 of the second IC7473. Hence, the clock signal, clock 1, is connected from the output Q0, that is output 2 of the second IC7473 is shown here. The third output Q2 is connected to output 2 of the first IC7473. Hence, the clock signal, Clock 2, is connected from the output Q1, that is output 1 of the second IC7473 is shown here. The final output Q3 is connected to output 1 of the first IC7473. Hence, the clock signal, clock 1, is connected from the output Q2, that is output 2 of the first IC7473 is shown here. Now that our circuit is ready, let's simulate and verify the operation of asynchronous up counter.